<clears throat> one of my favorite jazz piano players and composers, uh, a legend, Thelonious Monk. And but the guy was just <clears throat> a genius, okay? But the thing was, what was so funny about Thelonious was that he wasn't like a classically... <clears throat> Excuse me, my sinus is a shot today. He wasn't a classically trained piano player. So a lot of times he would use the wrong fingers. But he was just, he was a genius. And ultimately, everything he did was like beyond anyone else's mind or brain power. The guy was in another universe. He was such a genius. And, but like, I'll give you an example, okay? Sometimes when he would solo, you know, you could kind of hear like it sounded choppy. It didn't really sound technically correct. But that's what gave it, right? It's great sound. If it would have sounded pretty and it would have sounded all classical, you know, classically trained and, and technically correct, it would have sucked. But because he would do something like this, he would go like, like you go. Like so crazy thing. You know how you say, you know how that sounded like choppy? But that's what gave the Thelonious Monk the sound that became iconic. That became legendary. So I'm going to do a cover of the great Thelonious Monk, and I think this is the coolest blue song ever written, called Straight No Chaser. One, two, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 